This is an overview of the expanding cards widget, which is content cards that when you click on them, they expand. This can connect to remote controls. This can even sync to carousels or other sliders or other item based widgets. And it has awesome styling and layout settings that you can use for your website to achieve the exact outcome that you want. For example, over here, we're even loading templates inside as the content. And you can see it's connected to a background slider that's changing the background color of the whole section. It has an awesome vertical title on the items. And you can change the graphic element to be an image, to be some text, an icon, or whatever you want. So without no more further ado, let's jump in and get started. To get started, I'm going to search for expanding content cards in my widgets pane and drag and drop that into the Elementor canvas. What this widget does, it has sort of content cards that when you click on them, they expand and they show the content inside. I'm going to take you step by step and show you how you can take advantage of this widget to show the content on your website and suit it for your website needs. So first of all, I'm going to go in the section and in height over here, I'm going to put that to fit the screen just so it's in the center nicely over here. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually edit the content over here. So I'm just going to click on the widget, jump into items. And for my use case, I'm just going to use four items. So I'm just going to delete the last one. This is a regular Elementor repeater where you can reorganize the items. You can duplicate them, delete them and click to edit. So I'm going to click to edit the first one and I'm going to upload some images that I have over here in my computer. Let's do one more bananas, right? So this is the first one going to go for grapefruit and I'm going to write over here grape fruit. Awesome. Let's do the next one. This is going to be pineapples. Awesome. And we have bananas. And last one. Let's do it really quick raspberries. So as you can see, that was really, really quick. And look how nicely this adapts. I mean, it knows how to cover the whole item really nicely. It expands if it needs to look at look what a nice effect that gives us without doing too much. But now we're just going to jump in and start making the text a little bit more readable and um, starting to customize the layout and the settings. So before we start that, I'm just going to jump back into the section and change the width over here to be a bit smaller. Let's say 850 pixels looks good to me, but you can play around with that, right? It depends also how many items you have. So this is looking good. And the next setting inside of the expanding content cards is for the trigger. So over here, we can change the trigger from click to hover. And now without needing to click, I can just hover over the cards and these are going to expand. The next setting is for the active item. As you can see by default, the first item is active. So if I want to change that, then I can just make number two active. And then when the user visits the page number two will be active, which I think that looks pretty good. If you don't want any of them to be active, you can just change this to zero. So all of them will be collapsed or closed. Let's leave that at two and we have transition duration. So that's the time it takes for the card to expand. Let's change this to two seconds just so you can see how that looks when it's a little bit longer. I actually like it like that. So I'm going to leave that and responsive breakpoint. So this is really important actually, because a lot of people ask me about my tutorials, what happens on 
a mobile phone. So let's move that to a mobile phone. And as you can see, what it does, it just makes these to be cards. Now, if you don't want them to be cards, you can change the responsive breakpoint to be zero, and then there will be no breakpoint. Of course, you're going to need to adjust the styles and settings to make this a little bit bigger and stuff like that, but that's how it essentially works. So that's pretty awesome. By the way, let's, let's just jump in and do it because a lot of people are asking me about this kind of stuff. So what kind of adjustments would I make? I would change the gap. And over here in the cards to three so there's less gap and now there's room for the content to be seen another change that you could do is change the inactive card width so I'm going to change it to let's say 40 and now they're a lot narrower or maybe let's do a little bit bigger than 40 something like that 50 pixels is great and now all four cards fit in perfectly. And again, if they don't fit in, you can always add a responsive breakpoint and then decide how many columns you want to show on each row, how many cards you want to show on each row. So that's pretty awesome. So we're making nice progress over here. And in the layout, we can determine which parts we want to turn on or off inside of this. So actually, I'm going to take off uh, some of the stuff over here. So let's, for example, I can turn off the graphic element. So I'm just going to turn that off so you can see how that looks. And that's how it looks without a graphic element. And I'm also going to turn off the sub content. The sub content is the content that shows under the title. So let's turn off the sub content. So we have only a title and a um, we have only a title and a button right now. If you want to change the button text, you can do that over here. So that's looking pretty awesome. And you know what? I'm just going to turn back the graphic element because I want to show you some stuff with that. So just wanted to show you that you can turn it on or off, decide how you want the layout to look like. And another very cool feature that I haven't seen in many widgets is to show a vertical title. So I'm just going to turn that on. And now, as you can see over here, let's turn this back into click so it's not moving all the time. And over here, you can see there's a title. Now, before I'm going to progress, I'm going to take care, first of all, of the readability of this, because you can see it's not really readable on top of the images. So to do that, I'm going into style and into overlay and we have three states for the overlay the first state is for the active the active one is the open one the second one is for the inactive one that, those are the closed ones and we have a hover state so in the inactive one i'm just going to add a black background over here and you can play around with the, the opacity and achieve something that looks good to you. So I don't want too much of this overlay. I'm gonna go for 30% opacity. And now you can see the text is more readable with that black overlay 30%. And you can do the same thing for the active one. Usually for the active one, what I like doing is actually doing it in a gradient. So I'm just gonna show you that. So let's do black and black. And for that black, I'm going to go for full opacity. And over here, let's change the opacity. So you can see what I've achieved is sort of a black gradient going to a full opacity black. So that's kind of a cool effect. I like putting my content like that when it's on top of an image. And look how nicely this expands and closes. And this is starting to come out really nice so the next part i'm just gonna stay over here in in, in uh, the style settings and finish up the styling over here before and uh, we'll go back into the settings so over here in the button what i'm going to do is i'll just do a button with a solid two pixel white border and then i'm going to take off the background color i like my buttons to be transparent when they're on top of a image 
let's go into title in the title over here I'm going to typography and this one affects the vertical title and the horizontal title so take that in mind so if I'm going to make it bigger it's going to make this one bigger as well and this one bigger as well which actually is uh, looking good maybe we'll make the weight a little bit bolder just so you can see it better on um, this part over here and also it looks better over here so that's pretty cool about the graphic element so the graphic element can actually be numbers it can be icons and it can be um, even images so for this example I think it would be interesting to make these into numbers so I'm going to go into items and over here you can determine if it's going to be an icon an image or text that's the graphic element source I'm going to change that into text and now you can see it's saying zero one i'm going to do the same thing for the rest of these so text and i'm going to change that to zero two so you can see that this is actually my real work process i mean i'm not just going to do the style or just going to do the settings i'm always jumping between the settings and thinking how i can make this better and better as I go along and what will look nicer so this is actually coming out really nice in my opinion and I hope you guys like it as well now not to make this too long of a tutorial I'm just going to finish up by showing you how I can connect this to remote controls and how I can sync this to a different widget so for that I'm going to first of all let's go into the settings over here I'm going to enable remote connection and sync. So we've enabled both remote controls and both sync together with another widget. And I'm going to add another column. Let's make this one a bit wider. And we're going to add the content over here. So first of all, to sync this, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add a content carousel and again this can connect to pretty much all of our item based um, all of our item based widgets just going to use a carousel right now and you can see this is looking squished up right now so let's change the number of items to one and I'm just going to jump into layout turn off the image turn off the arrows turn off the dots and again I'm going to do this pretty fast because the main part was about the expanding cards this is uh, the second part which is less important right now i just want to show you that it's doable and how it would look so again i'm going to enable it's the same setting connect widget settings is the same for all the widgets and actually uh, these are already connected as you can see i mean how easy was that and the outcome is pretty much amazing in my opinion so we have two widgets which when you click on the fourth item here it's going to show the fourth item in the carousel over here let's finish up the styling and uh, actually you know what let's turn off the button over here because we don't we have a button already over here so over here it will be just some additional text that will show when the item is selected and inside of style or content let's turn off the padding and take off the background and maybe over here in content i'm going to align it to the left in my section settings i'm going to push up the padding so there's more space between these okay awesome by the way if this stops working in the back end then th that just means that you need to update and preview it on the live website because this is not going to always work in the back end, but as you can see in the front end, it will always work. So awesome. The next part, I'm going to add some remote controls. So let's go for arrows. I mean, arrows is pretty basic, right? So let's add some arrows over here. And again, I'm just going to save that. And without doing too much, jump over here. And you can see that now I can navigate between the different sides using arrows wow i mean that's pretty much amazing and 
to finish this up, let's add some bullets, right? And again, you can, we have about seven or eight different types of remote controls. So this, these are just the, the basic ones, but you can actually use any of the remote controls and, and it connects so easily and the outcome is really, really awesome. So I wanna wrap this tutorial up. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and subscribe for more awesome stuff. See you in the next video.